Oh, they were. Oh, from what I heard from the coaches, they they said they're very really skillful. You know, a lot of their skills they they can transfer when they're playing um, the touch rugby side today. So, um, you know, that was quite exciting to see and and just seeing them adapt. You know, obviously it's a different ball, but their skills just came like as if they were playing t uh, rugby for for a while. So, um, it was. Yeah, the kids. Um, I just spoke to a guy outside here. They said um, if they change uh, from Gaelic to to, to rugby. Um, the guys are a lot fitter because they run a lot and they have they seem to have more skills because they have to kick and they have to just run faster with the ball so so I must say um, it's just yeah I don't, don't like I said I don't know a lot about it but it's been great seeing a little of it so I would like to see more like like to see the bigger bigger guys playing the games just to get a picture around it um, I would love to see a game one day so. Yeah, well, you guys are the pros, and in my head, looking at these guys today, going around interacting with uh, the two sets of athletes there, what did you think the coaches, and the way they were connected to the athletes out there? Yeah, well, I think um, at certain ages, it's, it's, it's just about facility. They're not doing too much, and it's just allowing the kids to yeah. to enjoy the, enjoy the sport and have fun out there. But I think, yeah, both coaches like. I think they're, they're learning and working together and um, just kind of setting boundaries there and then letting the kids, you know, go out there and, and do Just what they want to do and have fun. So. Yeah.